Welcome to the Super Fast Touch Designer tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the Revolve to parametrically model a metallic spine. I mentioned that this will be one of the simplest tutorials in the POP series, so see it as a way to learn a new operator without major complications. Also, I am fascinated by these kinds of vertebral structures, so I am quite excited that I was able to create this new composition in a simple way using POPs. Let's begin by reviewing the only important part with which we will solve this project. Chapter one, overview. In this section, which I have called main network, I created three pattern chops, which I will convert into pops using a chop to pop, and then connect them to a revolve. As explained in the touch designer guide, revolve generates a surface of revolution from any set of line strips. The points of the line strip are swept around a chosen axis, generating a mesh of points that are connected together according to the connectivity menu. At the end, I connect everything using a blend, where I created a new morphology by combining several 3D geometries. After this, I apply a twist and a series of copies to simulate a spine. As I have already mentioned in the last tutorials, we will not review rendering because you can already find that in countless tutorials about Touch Designer. But as always, I am using an environment light with an HDRI image and a PBR material, where I adjust the metallic values of the material, in addition to adding extra lights. Without anything more to say, Let's begin the tutorial. A quick pause. If we haven't met yet, I'm Okami Rufu, and my life's purpose is to create, inspire, and educate through my work as a creative technologist focused on touch designer. I'm jumping in just for a moment to let you know that I've built a growing community on school, where you'll find beginner and intermediate courses, exclusive tutorials, and a library of downloadable project files, including special bundles you won't find anywhere else. But more than that, it's an active, thriving space for example, in one of the exclusive tutorials I uploaded recently, there are already tons of people interacting, sharing project files, asking questions, and helping each other. It goes far beyond a traditional academic setting. I've put a lot of energy into making it practical, efficient, and fun. And the best part? This space is slowly integrating all the value I've already built on Patreon, all in one place for the same price. I truly hope to see you there, sharing knowledge, experimenting together, and asking the questions that help us all grow. I'll leave all the links in the description. Chapter two, network. Let's start creating the following sequence of operators. First, we create a pattern chop. Then right click on the output and connect a chop to pop. And directly after the chop two, we connect a revolve. Now return to the chop to and select only the coordinates we need using p.y. And right away, change the values of start position and end position. Since I want to make these metallic ribs long, I will use zero as the start position and 25 as the end position. Perfect. Now select this group of operators and clone it three times and connect everything directly to a blend operator. Now, let's go to the parameters. At this stage, remember that you can experiment and try thousands of variations. But if you want the same result as mine, then use the following parameters. For the first pattern, the number of cycles goes up to four, and we leave the sinusoidal as default. The phase will be animated using absolute time, dot seconds divided by five. The taper value we leave between zero and two. And finally, the taper decay we leave at 0 0.05. Perfect. Now we see in the revolve that we already have a more interesting geometry. Now let's go with the second pattern, which may look similar to the first, but the main thing is to change the type of wave. Select square and set the number of cycles to six. The phase can either be animated or left as a constant value like 0 0.25. The taper we modulate between one and zero. That is perfect. And the taper decay rate we leave at negative 0 0.02. The rest stays as is. And if you look at the revolve, you will see a new and super interesting geometry. Now let's go with the last one, which also has some details. First, we are going to use a ramp. 
The number of cycles is fine at six. The taper, just like the previous pattern chop, is also left between one and zero. But this time, the taper decay is set to 0 0.15. In addition, we can increase the amplitude to five. Now we already have the three geometries and we just need to change the blend type to average. Once this is done, let's create a twist and select the bend operation. If you want to dive much deeper and join nearly 3,000 people already on my Patreon, you'll get access to free VJ packs, all the project files from my YouTube tutorials, exclusive components and plugins, and a fully organized shop with conceptual VJ packs, more advanced plugins, and much more. Everything is perfectly arranged in collections, so you can easily browse and find exactly what you need. And if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine too. You can buy individual project files anytime, no strings attached. We also change the axes. For the primary axis, we use the Z axis. And for the secondary, we use the X axis. Now, above this network, let's create one LFO and automatically connect a math operator. Select both operators and clone them. For the first LFO, we change the frequency to 0 0.1. And for the second, we can make it even slower. Let's say 0 0.05 is perfect. Now, in the first math change, the from range from minus one to one. And the to range from 110 to 220. For the second math, keep the from range the same as the previous one. And change the to range from zero to two. Now we just have to reference these values directly in the twist, the first math and the strength of the twist. And the second math in the roll off. Now that we have given a little life to this rib, all that's left is to copy it. Create a copy and use exactly these parameters if you want the same result as mine. But you will have already noticed that from the start of this network, you can try as many variations as you want. Now copy these values. Perfect. Now with something so simple, we already have an organic result with a lot of dynamism and a morphology quite inspired by animal anatomy. Now for the final step, we are going to use another copy and duplicate this geometry three more times. Create another copy and use the following parameters. And that's it. We have our metallic spine. It's interesting how the Pops family, with very few resources, allows us to create much more interesting things. And this new resource, I believe, is just a small demonstration of what we can continue doing. I hope you've successfully completed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.